The angels are created beings and are part of the world of the unseen. The minds of mankind cannot comprehend the unseen. However, believing in this creation, in the angels and other parts of the unseen, is part of faith. As a matter of fact, believing in the angels is one of the six articles of fit of which or be, without which the person is not considered a believer if he does not believe in it. Believing in the angels is part of faith. The Prophet ﷺ informed us, as reported by Muslim, that angels are created from light. Again, part of the unseen we cannot comprehend. The angels are honorable slaves of Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal created them for different tasks. And they are slaves who were created obedient to Allah Azza wa Jal without the inclination or will or wish to disobey. لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمرون. They do not disobey Allah Azza wa Jal in what He commands them, and they do as they are instructed. Many tasks are allocated to the angels. For example, conveying the message of Allah Azza wa Jal from Allah to His messengers through Jibril. Is one of the tasks. Taking the souls at the time of death is a task of the angels. Many other tasks. But one task I would like to highlight today, which is of great benefit to us believers, is the angels' supplication for the believers. Allah says, الذين يحملون العرش ومن حوله يسبحون بحمد ربهم ويؤمنون به. Those angels who carry the throne and those around it exalt their Lord with praise and believe in Him. ويستغفرون للذين آمنوا. And ask forgiveness for those who believe. Saying, ربنا وسعت كل شيء رحمة وعلما فاغفر للذين تابوا واتبعوا سبيلك وقهم عذاب الجحيم. What's their supplication? Our Lord, you have encompassed all things in mercy. And knowledge. So forgive those who have repented and followed your way and protect them from the punishment of the hellfire. In this verse, Allah Azza wa Jal is telling us that those who ask forgiveness are one of the honorable ranks of the angels, those who carry the throne of Allah. Not just any angel. And because the obedience of the angels to Allah Azza wa Jal is absolute, their supplications are accepted by Allah and, and honored. Al-Imam ibn Battal the Maliki scholar said, It is well known that the supplications of the angels are accepted by Allah. When will the angels supplicate for me and you? Let's mention a few situations. 
times, conditions, when angels supplicate for the believers. But the point here is not just to enumerate these situations or timings, but rather for us to know so we can act upon it and take advantage of it. So we can get that benefit of their supplications. And notice that many of these situations are pertaining to salah. The first situation is when one sits after concluding or finishing the salah in the praying area. In the area where he or she prayed. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. The angels will continue to supplicate for one of you. So long as he or she sits in the place where he prayed. As long as he does not invalidate his wudu, saying, O oh Allah, forgive him. O oh Allah, have mercy upon him. Now for men, this is when we finish the salah in jama'ah, in the masjid, and sit in our spots. Now, fi majlisihi, in his spot, the interpretation of this term the, the scholars had a difference of opinion regarding whether it is the very spot he was sitting at when he was uh, reciting tashahud, or does it include the entire masjid? To be on the safe side, one needs to stay in his spot. However, the mercy of Allah is massive. If one needs to move for whatever reason, then it is hope that he will be included. But as for women, that's applicable for them in their homes. Because as we all know, the reward for a woman to pray in her house is higher than her praying in the masjid with the congregation. So when she concludes her salah and sits in the place where she prayed, then this also applies to her and the angels will supplicate for her now this is after salah what about before salah well that's also addressed by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this is reported by ahmed classified as sound by al arnaut rahmatullahi alayhi he said whoever sits Awaiting the prayer, the angels will continue supplicating for him. And their supplication for him is, O oh Allah, forgive him. O oh Allah, have mercy on him. So if you are blessed by Allah Azza wa Jal and happen to come to the masjid 10, 15 minutes or whatever time Allah Azza wa Jal enables you to come before the time of salah, then the angels will continue to supplicate for you until you actually offer the prayer with the congregation. A third situation, and this is a special case for a reason. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is also reported by Ahmed, classified as sound by Al Arnaut. Whoever prays the Fajr prayer and sits in the masjid, the angels will continue to supplicate for him and their supplication is, O oh Allah forgive him, O oh Allah have mercy on him. You know, people, whoever is blessed to pray the Fajr prayer, and it's very unfortunate that in the masjid, we don't see such numbers for Salatul Fajr. If we're blessed, we'll find a couple of rows. The rows shrink drastically during the five daily prayers and more so and in particular during Salatul Fajr. 
So due to the nature of mankind, and people want to go back home and rest, and especially when Salatul Fajr is early, this encouragement to stay longer was given for Salatul Fajr. Because it's more difficult than the regular Salah. When you're up and about and awake, it's much easier than when you have to wake up knowing that you have the time to go back and sleep and rest before you have to go to work. Those who are keen to come early in order to be in the first row get a special supplication. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Ibn Majah, classified as authentic by Al-Albani. He said, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu Allah and His angels yusalluna yusalluna, salah from Allah means mercy. His mercy descends on those who do such and such. His forgiveness is granted for those who do such and such, whenever that's mentioned. But for the creatures of Allah, the creation of Allah, Azzurjal, angels, the, the believers, the animals, ants, whatever, it is supplication from them for the believer. Allah and His angels. This mercy and, and forgiveness is granted to who? For those who pray in the first row. Keenness on coming early to the masjid will enable you to be in this first row and therefore deserving of this forgiveness and mercy. The following is the last one pertaining to salah. But it's very important. The Prophet ﷺ said, and again this is reported by Ibn Majah, classified as authentic by Al-Albani. Allah and His angels, Yusallun, we have explained Yusallun. For whom? Who will be deserving now? What's the quality? What is the deed? Those who connect the row in congregation. When we're praying, you see how we're very keen whenever we, we stand up to, to pray, we say, straighten the road, don't leave gaps. Well, you get the mercy and forgiveness of Allah Azza wa for connecting the road. And in addition to that, the Prophet Sallallahu continues to say, وَمَنْ سَدَّ فُرْجَةً رَفَعَهُ اللَّهُ بِهَا دَرَجَةً And whoever closes a gap in the road, Allah Azza wa Jal will raise him in Jannah, will raise him one degree, one level, one rank. You see how simple it is, how facilitated it is to get the mercy and forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Jal. All we have to do is just exert a small effort and it will happen. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is also reported by Ibn Majah, classified as authentic by Al-Albani, whoever exalts my mention, saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the angels will continue to pray for him for his forgiveness and mercy. And we are instructed by the Prophet ﷺ that particularly on Fridays, to recite salah on him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abundantly. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad wa barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad fil alameen innaka hamidun majid aqulu ma sami'tum wa astaghfirullah. One of the situations that makes us deserving of the supplications of the uh, angels is when we teach people beneficial knowledge pertaining to their faith. Before you go on thinking, I'm not a scholar. Yes, you don't have to be a scholar. If you have something that you know 
that you learned from someone. Teach it to someone else. Even if that someone is your wife or child. You don't have to be a scholar or a student of knowledge and sit in study circles. It's not that. It's not only that. Allah and His angels, this is the saying of the Prophet ﷺ, as reported by a Tirmidhi classified as authentic by Al Albani. Allah, His angels, the people, uh, those in the heavens and those on earth, and even the ant in its hole and the fish, la yusallun. So we said yusallun when it's pertaining to Allah, it's His mercy and forgiveness. And when it's pertaining to anything else or anyone else, it's their supplication for me and you. They supplicate for who? To those or for those who teach people good and beneficial knowledge that leads to virtue. Another situation is visiting a sick person. A Tirmidhi reports and is classified as authentic by Al Albani. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whenever a person goes out in the morning, well, the first, the, big, the first part of the hadith is in the evening. Whenever a person goes out in the evening to visit an ill person, 70,000 angels come out with him, asking forgiveness for him, merely because he is going to visit an ill person. And he will have his share from reaped fruits of Jannah, and this will continue until the morning. And when he leaves in the morning, likewise will happen until the evening. Imagine 70,000 angels asking forgiveness and mercy for you from evening to morning or from morning to evening. That's amazing. Remember, these are slaves who do not disobey Allah. Remember, these are slaves whose supplications are honored and accepted. Another situation is going to sleep in a state of ritual purity, meaning having performed wudu. Ibn Hibban reports, and Al-Albani classified it as sound, that whenever a Slave goes to bed, goes to rest. He wants to sleep or she wants to sleep. In the state of purity, having performed wudu before he went to bed or she went to bed. An angel will spend the night with him. Fi shi'arihi is the word used in the hadith. Fi shi'arihi is under his cover. And whenever that slave wakes up, the angel will say, Oh Allah, forgive this slave, slave such and such, and will name him or her. For he or she went to sleep in a state of ritual purity. Performing wudu is an act of worship that we will be rewarded for anyway. And it is a protection against the jinn and the devils. In addition to that, you get the supplication from a, an angel who will spend the night in the same place. Finally, it is a situation where many people take lightly. Taking the meal of suhoor. Now the, the word meal here that does not necessarily mean food or a lot of food. The Prophet ﷺ even said, even it was a sip, if it was a sip of water, that will suffice as suhoor. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Ibn Hibban, classified as sound by Al Albani. He said, Allah and his angels, Yusallun again. 
for those who take the meal of suhoor. Al-Imam Ibn Jama'ah, the Shafi'i scholar, rahmatullahi alayhi, said beautiful words. He said, there is no rank higher than the rank of the slave for whom the angels supplicate. So, let's work on putting ourselves in these categories, as many of them as we can. After all, they're very easy. They're very easy and facilitated by Allah Azza wa If Allah Azza wa sees sincerity in our, in our hearts and keenness in our action and behavior, Allah Azza wa will make it easy for us to fulfill. Will make it easy for us to be amongst these whom the angels or for whom the angels supplicate.